Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for 1s and 20s, the show where we roll a lot of 1s and a lot more, no, we roll a lot of 20s and a lot more 1s. Uh, it was pretty even last time, actually I think it was exactly even. Uh, David, I, I don't remember who rolled a 1, but I don't think it was fair. I think it was, pretty sure it was David. David. It was David, yeah. That was me. That's what I thought, so. Yeah, so thank you David for um, filling in for Faith after she filled in for you for I a couple times. That. So you're claiming uh, your your true title, yes, my true title, true, true, David. Um, uh, I am your dungeon master, Omid Miller. Um, let's go around the virtual mahogany table, as apparently I have to do that. It's now. an important part of the fiction, Omid. I, <laughs> it's an NFT. This doesn't date this episode at all, but this is a very important NFT to us. All right, no, the audience, whoever they are, because they're out there, I'm sure. Ducks. I think of the. I think they're ducks. Um, I have a very like big it, duck following. They need the they need the mahogany the virtual mahogany table to buy into the realism. Of the you know, yeah, they also buy kids, it. don't. I don't know if this is still true in the future, but like, please don't invest in NFTs. Don't <laughs> just don't, or any crypto for that matter. Yeah, don't do it. It's bad. Also, it's ruining the environment. Hey, mm -hmm. hey guys, there's no entertainment and no tabletop gaming on a dead planet. <laughs> <laughs> just not. You can't play D and D if you're dead. <laughs> and with that said, let's introduce our players who will be doing those games. I'm David. Um, I'm playing three characters: uh, John Doe, uh, Corgan Knives. Everyone just calls him Knives. It's okay. And uh, Forlorn. I'm never going to remember money, his first name. My money on on who's going to survive is Forlorn. Forlorn is going to be the one to survive of the three. <laughs> I've, I've got good bets on, on knives. Yeah, I like knives. His heart's he in the right speak. place. Yeah. He's He's got a child to look out for. He must it's survive. True. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, Faith. There are no tabletop gaming on a dead planet. Uh, I am playing uh, three uh, characters plus a horse. Uh, who's honestly, I have the bets on to live. I think Odysseus is going to outlast everybody. Uh, <laughs> but my three characters are uh, Nicholas Fitzmaxim, uh, Odysseus' dope best last friend. name, by the way. What? It's a dope last name, by the way. Thank you. It had plot relevance, but now it doesn't. Um, <laughs> yeah, just like uh, just like just like Jean Claude being rich, it had plot relevance. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, Sharn Beaton. And Clem, <laughs> whose full name is Clemac Kilwall. Is that his name? <laughs> it's like um, I'm so deep in the fiction, I don't even know. Hold on, I have it up here. Yeah, Clem, Clemac, Clem, Kilwall. Yeah. Kilwall. Kilwall. Oh, Vol. I was like, did I just write a W? No, it's a V and a, a U. Mm-hmm. Which is just really just a W. It is. I'm Susanna. I am playing three characters. Beatrice. The uh, aristocrat tutor. I'm playing Cat, the pissed off 11 year old. And Embriel, your new god. Uh, and everyone, you don't have to announce that you're playing three characters until someone dies. <laughs> I think we're good. Just... Now we're gonna. It's part of establishing. Yeah, we're establishing a routine. But I oh mean, it's consistency. They know what to expect you, now. You can say your three characters. Don't say I have three characters. You don't all have to say I have three characters. <laughs> These are my characters. Another, what if I make a fourth character? You well, that's can't. not allowed this campaign. It's not oh, allowed right, this campaign. Allowed. Right, forgot. Mitch already forgot. tried to. Um, no, I didn't, you didn't try you didn't, to. Well, no, you didn't know also that this was what it was anyways. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway, but uh, 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 last time... Uh, well, I didn't say me and my characters. Hold did you on. Not? I can't tell. There no. are so many people talking. <laughs> and it's in a different position. It's also in a different position now. I know, because we changed. I know. Yeah. I changed my name. Um... Yeah. So anyway, speaking of my name, it's Mitch. I am also playing three characters, Omid. Oh my god. <laughs> Which you brought upon yourself. <laughs> uh, 
of Chaos I'm playing Jean Claude, Marquis de Fontaine. Uh, of course I am playing Dante Apollyon, Loving Father. One time I'm praying, praying? You're <laughs> no. praying. I'm praying. One time I'm praying. That's it. That's it all. <laughs> um, no, I am playing uh, Wolfric Schaefer, uh, der Elte Bruder, apparently. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I was making more comments. No, I know. I had, it's right. I had I had more to. I'll, I had I'll say more, more stuff about my characters. That's cool. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> I was just I was just making. I was just gonna put a quote of Muhammad saying, uh, "You shouldn't drink alcohol. Uh, it's probably it's not always good to drink alcohol." And then that translated to, "It's illegal. You should not eat alcohol. It is a sin." Like, no, it's not what he said. It's not. You don't need to make a law against that. It's totally not what he said. Um, anyway. Um. So, uh, uh, last time, um, we followed Nick, who found some bananas, and that's pretty much it. He's doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, swamp team, who have exited the swamp, tried chasing after some deer, um, escaped from some direwolves that attacked that deer. Luckily, the wolf, direwolves were real bad on their all of their rolls, not to find all of you and just eat you all. Um, and then you started, uh, heading south, um, after trying to hide and it didn't work out. Um, and then we've got Cat and the boys, uh, caught some, caught a fish, found a giant beaver, um. Tried to have a heartfelt conversation. Tried to have, it's so hard with the language barrier. Who knew a language barrier was such a huge barrier? Um. <laughs> I'm feeling then... some hostility. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> there's a reason why they didn't get a second language that they wanted to do. Anyway, uh, it's an, it's enough. <laughs> this is enough. Um, and then uh, yeah, there was some actual hostility because uh, of the language barrier and other things with Cat and the other two uh, adults. Um, but I know what you're talking about? Cat's what? fine. Oh my God. Adult, adult is a strong word for Wolfric. He's an adult. <laughs> He's adult enough. It's basically for a a um, a null. A null, yeah. Um, but uh, we are going to shift over to hmm. Jean Claude. Oh no, we're not getting back to them for a while. Uh, Damn. Ah. We actually we're going to go to Swamp Team, even though they're not in the swamp anymore. Because there's some, there's some That's fun to be had. They're the it's farthest like how... away, so we have to keep going back to them. Oh, really? <laughs> it's like how the oh, Texans yeah. aren't always in Texas, you know? Start literally the, the farthest the of anyone. And you don't have a keep horse. Going. We just keep on going farther and farther away. You're, you started super far away, and you don't have a horse like um, <laughs> like Nick does. Um, so you're all heading south. Um, you said you were being stealthy, correct? Sure. Yeah. Okay, give me stealth checks then. Fourteen. Okay. One. Starting off great. Forlorn got a one. Natural. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, does it even matter for John anymore? He got a, a ten. Uh, give me, also give me a perception check. Everyone. No. Okay. Oh, oh, that's a seven. For, <laughs> that's, a, that's a seven on a die, not a one. <laughs> oh, oh God, please, all of you uh, roll low. <laughs> this um, will be amazing. Perception? Uh-huh. 13 for Forlorn. And... 14 for... <laughs> John. Okay. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you see, or you you hear, <laughs> nearby. Don't be suspicious. Don't, Don't be, be suspicious. suspicious. Don't. 
you eventually see um, this giant creature, much bigger than the giant armadillo. Um, this thing seems naturally huge. Um, it's got a similar body to that of an elephant. However, its neck is very long, and it has a very beefy neck as well. And it's got a... I guess the best way to describe its ears is closer to, like, a giraffe. Uh, yes, beefy. Uh, and, uh, kind of... How do I describe its face? It, like a small tusk? No, not a tusk. I mean, not um, a tusk. Uh, uh, um, it is not a mammoth. Trunk. It is not a mammoth at all. No, it's but got the body of trunk? an elephant. It's got the body of an elephant, essentially. Much bigger, though. Um, and it's got a very long, a very long neck, um, and it's got where is this thing? I don't know. It's its face is also long. It's not like a snout. It's not like a long snout, but or it's not like a um, how do I describe it? Oh. It's not like a, it's not like an ant eater. It's just, but it is a long, longish snout, and it looks like kind of a. It's got kind of a plain face. It's it's kind of weird to describe. You don't know what it is, but I have no if idea anyone knows what a beast yeah, is. you won't know what this is. Probably this is a Parasaurotherium. Um, That's just fancy for questing beast. <laughs> um, but uh, this this thing is gigantic. This is very large. Um, it looks kind of dopey. <laughs> If that makes sense. It's got a very yeah. plain face, like, uh, and it seems to be mm, looking in your direction and just kind of slowly making its way over to you. Thank you, Google autocorrect. Okay, I I see what it looks like. <laughs> it's walking towards us. Mm-hmm. Slowly. It's not like it's being aggressive. Everyone hide! And forlorn jumps into a bush. Jesus Christ. Clem and John, what are you two doing? Uh, the hiding. Okay. Well, it's currently looking at all of you so it could see wherever you, you hide if you're hiding nearby. Ah, oh, I would like to plead for mercy. To plead for mercy to the beast? Sh sure, make a nature persuasion check. As I'm it using gets my specialized plead for mercy skill. Okay. What did John do, David, while she's doing that? Uh, John will also hide. Okay. Twelve. Twelve? Okay. It gets closer and closer to you. Are, are you standing your ground? No, if it comes closer, I'm gonna, like... Mm. Or no, I actually, I just curl up. I'm like, please don't hurt me. Curl up. Okay, it gets close. So the other two, as you're kind of like hiding in your arms, you can't see anything. Uh, the other two, you're watching as this thing gets closer and it rears its long neck down. And just sniffing Clem. It just seems curious. It nudges you. Clem rolls over and goes. <laughs> give me another. Give me another persuasion or nature check. Why not? I just want to see something. Ah uh, no. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. And it turns and starts. I lay just perfectly walking out. still on my back. As it walks away and eventually. Um, gets out of sight. Wow, that was dead. close. You're, you're, I thought you said you were already dead. I mean, maybe. I haven't fully decided. Am I more dead? No, you're very much alive. <sighs> Unfortunately. Uh, 
Well, at least that wasn't aggressive, unlike everything else we found. I well, I do have to agree. Um, Other than I, that I would... guy and Mama, that's that's the best thing we found. <laughs> it's 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 Mama, that guy, that thing, and uh, um, the funky funky armored thing I saw. And then those piddly deer. <laughs> <laughs> you have such a way with words. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I used to, when I was younger, I had a dream of doing theater. What happened? The neighborhood kids threw rotting food at me. <laughs> After my community one-man show of 12 Angry Men. <laughs> well, that's on you. <laughs> I can somewhat relate to that. Small beings also threw rotting food at you? For performing community theater. No, to be so fair, I was rotting. I would perform it at an opportune time, such as in the middle of lessons, at funerals. <laughs> no, no, just the rotten food being thrown at me. Hard. It's not pleasant. Yeah. How long my older been... brother said it was actually an improvement upon my look, but he's a dick, so I didn't listen to him. How long have we been traveling? Have, have, how long have we been here? Mm, several hours. <laughs> like three, it's, four? It's been like four hours. Anybody hungry? Yes, you are all hungry. Everyone's hungry. In general, like everyone. I we really need to find some food. I grab a leaf and I stick it in my mouth. Make a luck check. Okay. Ten. Okay, it's a leaf. That's it. Just, just gonna. Well, a little crunchy, a little dry. Maybe some like sauce. We should probably find berries or something. I look for berries. Yeah, I look for berries. Yeah, make nature or perception checks. Uh, twelve. John gets a 10. Forlorn got a 25. Sorry, not 25. 15. 15. Aww. I added 10. I don't know why I added 10 to that. Aww. You're like passing That's a out. Shame. <laughs> That's a shame. That would have been cool. Um, 15. Okay. Uh, roll me a luck check then, David. I said that he was going to be the purple die, so I'm going to stick with the purple die. Okay. Luck check? Mm-hmm. It's charisma, ain't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 18. 18, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so... You tell me which direction. You're originally going south. Which direction are you looking? Well, kind of to just keep in the same direction, he would also just start going south, searching and looking at bushes, see what he can find. Uh, yeah, so you start, uh, you, you eventually do find some bushes that seem to have these uh, red uh, berries. Yeah, he's got to eat them. He's going to eat them? He's going to take a few and start eating. Okay, what, what was your luck check again? 
18. 18. Okay, yeah, they taste good. I have found some some berries over here. It's nice and red. Clem comes running. <laughs> so does John. <laughs> yeah, and you all start eating berries? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're they're really I good. See, I see Paul Lauren eating them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you all start eating the berries. They're very they're they're delicious, they're sweet. Um there's there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of bushes around this area. There's more farther in. Um if you wanted more. I'm just gonna start filling my coat pockets with berries. Okay. It's a good idea. And uh <laughs> first three dots <laughs> all right so you rolled a 15 on your check so I'm gonna say you find uh, three three berry bushes um, let's say about I don't know how many berries on a bush so I'm just gonna make up a number right now 20 I don't know how many what 50 I don't know <laughs> what I don't know I don't pick berries from bushes faith I haven't done that since I was a little kid all right Twenty. <laughs> Sorry, it just seems like a very low number depending on the size of the berries. Or the size of the bush. Yeah. It's... Well, just like how this is mega fauna, they're also mega berries, so twenty <laughs> is actually a lot. Okay. They're, yeah. about the size of your, they're each the of size of like a, a golf ball. Of like a coconut. <laughs> so we each have coconut berries. I'll say I'll say like a golf ball. <laughs> Red golf ball berries. Mm -hmm. And how many do we find? Uh, you found three bushes of them. Twenty each. Clem, as he's Twenty each. One, well, there's like, like one bush in front of you, and then there's like uh, like two more bushes farther in. These remind me of a game that old rich people play, where you gotta be really quiet. Also, that's the field it's played on is actively harming the environment. <laughs> As an aside. <laughs> oh, golf, golf, gotcha. Jesus, I forgot. I was like, "What is this? What?" <laughs> I forgot. I mentioned they're like golf balls. Yeah, so try them for a long while to start just putting berries in their pockets. I. I Getting them from all three of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so as you as you go, make make perception checks as you're doing this and going farther into the other bushes. Should I also make a perception check? Yeah. Gold course. Also destroy John, your local gold course. Yeah. John got thirteen. Forlorn mm -hmm. got a nineteen. Okay. Yeah, as, as you're going in, and then Faith, would you get? Okay. Uh, so, Forlorn and uh, John would notice this. He get, what, a 13? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, as you get uh, closer, there's, um, there's a bit of an opening um, here where it's just the, the, the woods kind of part a bit for, like, this small little grove. Um, and you just, uh, you notice that there is a, a tree here that is much bigger and much thicker um, than any other tree you've seen here so far. It's it's gigantic. I get in. For Lorne, like stuffing berries into his pockets, he starts walking closer to for mm -hmm. to close. Uh, just curious as to what this is. He's gonna inspect it. Inspect it? Clem's yeah, trying to a... dig up. Uh, Clem would like to dig up one of the berry bushes after he's deburied it. Okay. <laughs> Root system for... and all. He's gonna start carrying it with him. For you, give me a. Uh, I don't know what check you think makes sense for you for doing that. That could be a number Probably of things. Track. What do you What do you want to make for that, Faith? I would like to make a knowledge check. <laughs> You can make a knowledge check, and then that'll decide if you get bonuses for, like, strength. You're being uh, smart 14, about. knowledge. Sure, you can have a bolster one strength check to try and rip this thing out. Or nature. 
So I can oh, either do an do? athletics or a nature check? Uh, it would be strength or a nature check. Nature. Okay. <laughs> Uh, seven. <laughs> seven. Uh, you, <laughs> you, you, you try to, you try to, uh, uh, pull it out, and you rip off part of it, but you don't get the root, so it's useless. Um, and it's you hell can use but... it to identify, uh, identify, identify other bushes. <laughs> yeah. And it, and it would be a hell of a time to get it because the roots are so. Sh like, it'd be so difficult to actually All right, grapple. well, I'm going to take my... I'm going to write down berry bush stick. <laughs> yep, empty berry bush stick. All right, and then, David, uh, go ahead and... It, this is forlorn, right? Yeah, what am I rolling? A perception. You're investigating it. Sorry, writing down berries. Investigation? Mm-hmm. Natural 20. Investigation. Do I have investigation as a role? Skill? No. Perception, I said. Perception? Do I keep the role? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you keep the Perception role, but I was just like, 20. you threw me You <laughs> threw me by saying investigation. I was like, what? 26. Natural 24, 26. Okay. So as you get closer to this uh, massive tree, um, it's very old, and the lines of it like they seemed they make sense the lines it looks like uh you're seeing like what looks like could be a mouth and eyes and nose it looks like a face hello <laughs> It moves, and it, you hear that voice coming from it. Oh, dear God, it's alive. Clem cowers and bows to whatever it is. <laughs> Do you oh, bitch and tree. We mean you Person. no harm. <laughs> We're Supreme really tree. fucking lost. David, Forlorn, you notice it with you with your high percept check from before. I'm going to say you notice it roll its eyes. <laughs> the, do you speak uh, common or infernal? Oh, um, yeah. I don't speak that language. I don't understand. Clem turns to him and he's like, clearly he's speaking tree. <laughs> Clem will attempt to uh, pretend to be a tree to commune with his new uh, friend. Tree. Did you say crazy? Tree. 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 Clem is just doing tree pose in yoga. <laughs> it can't shake its head, otherwise it would be. <laughs> do you... Do you know of a town nearby? People? Do you have any knowledge you can share with us? Oh, great tree. <laughs> Make, give me just a persuasion or nature check. I'll take it. Wow, night and day. One. Oh, David. I'm sorry. Um, 
Well, straight from natural twenty to natural one. Yeah. And that's the show, folks. Everyone have a that, good we're night. Done. All right, good night, guys. <laughs> good See session. you guys later. Yeah, great job, everyone. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Wouldn't that be a hell of a game where you played until you rolled, rolled a one? one and my God. Rolled yeah. a 20. Jesus Christ. Ooh, ah. I don't I don't understand. Uh, forlorn. My what language? Forlorn. What languages do you all speak? Common. Uh, I uh, speak. I didn't write it down. I'm gonna assume what it's are common you? and draconic. Yeah. Um, I. Your tiefling I and then message, but John. John. No common and Elvish. Elvish. Okay. Yeah. Actually, because it's John. So basic. Okay. So, really? John's been really? kind of like, what, what's John been doing? He's been kind of in awe of this, and he's kind of just been like staying back. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a part of it, but like, he doesn't want, he, he's a bit afraid of this talking tree. So, John, who's been in such awe of it, hasn't really been paying attention to the words. He's like, there's no way I can understand what this is. And he doesn't understand the language. At least not all of it. Um, it seems to be similar to Elvin, um, but like th there's definitely parts of that language in there, and he like pays attention, and you're getting some of it. it the, the sentences sound strange. Um, so on, on this uh, last uh, part, you hear here. Why? I, I think he's asking why we're here. Isn't that the question, oh great tree? Do any of us really know why we're here? <laughs> but specifically, we uh, landed and woke up in someone in this guy's backyard. And I kind of point in the direction that we came from and then there was like a giant and then mama came out of nowhere and she like snapped at us and then we were rotting and then uh, of course the whole thing with that guy was a whole mix up and then we found these deer and they were kind of piddly but then there were these big shaggy gray things and they were killing the deer so we went in the other direction and then oh there was also this like armored guy but we didn't hang out with him and then like there was also um this big fuck off woom thing but it just pushed me over and then like left and I thought I was dead and we've been looking and we had berries and now we found you only understood tree you you can all understand tree he's saying this in elvish he he, he looks over at you I understand you I think it speaks elvish but sound strange I mean you're telling me you're a talking tree I'm just an accountant I don't know what I'm doing here. Word not make sense. Uh, which word? Accountant. Accountant, I count gold for a living. A lot of gold. That was my job, just counting gold. For gold thing sustenance. 
not really you couldn't really eat it you would use it to buy things to eat oh look at me teaching economics to a tree confused what want Everyone uses it. It's just very convenient. He searches his pockets and pulls out a gold. It's what want? What do we want? Mm. To go back home, I assume. Right? We want to go back home, right? That's what we want. Are you asking me? I'm messing with you two. I mean, yes, yes, I mean, we want to go I, home. There's a, there's a long list of things I want. Well, then what do you want right really now? I really to say a rocket ship to pay for Jesus Christ, no. <laughs> no. Um, but, like, food, shelter, and I guess home would be okay. You don't have a home, like a food and shelter back at home. No, of course I do. But like, I live with my parents. Oh, my mom lives with, my mother lives with me. Used to live with me. That's lovely. I'm sure uh, your siblings don't all also live with you with their families. <laughs> No, no, she lived with me. They, they, I, I'm just an only child. Lucky. <laughs> Are any of you wounded? No. No, <laughs> surprising. Really? Yeah. Not a single one of you. Wow. Okay. <gasps> I was gonna have him comment on that, but never mind. Um. I, Help. I think... Yes, we. Uh. You know how we can get home? Where together three times. is home? If we knew, we wouldn't be in this mess. I look like I can move. I mean, you're moving your mouth and, you know... There's something magical going on here, and uh, this. Am, am magic. John. John. Yeah, yeah, John. yeah. Uh, Do you know, it occurs magic. to me that you guys were going on and on and on about water earlier. You haven't seen any of that delicious, delicious wet stuff, so. No, we haven't. Um, wait. It just said that it's magic. Yeah, like what things can... do or did magic. Did magic. Well, like, yeah, but like they did in the past and it, like, yeah, things are cycles. <laughs> That's not how... It's cold, it's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it rains, it's sunny, it rains, it's sunny. These things come and I go. Don't, I don't think that's how it really works, but... Um... You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> what, well, if you're magic, what can you do? Um, he is going to cast fire. Yeah. Out. So what? Um. Uh. Who, who's this? Is this is John? Right. Yeah. You can speak English. Uh, John, your skin starts hardening. Um, to bark. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Your whole body is bark. Can I move? Yeah, you can move. It's it's very tough. He's very tough. Yeah, I just tough. start flicking him. <laughs> you you hardly feel it, John. I would like to start playing him like the drums. Give me a performance check. <laughs> Seventeen. Mm. Pleasing. Finally useful. Because <laughs> Clement, up until this point, has been useless. <laughs> Excuse for this me, guy, I've been the ideas guy. He, the tree has the tree has not liked Clem so far. <laughs> um, forlorn steps forward at this point. Says, uh huh. That's amazing. Ask it if it could teach us. Um, my my perfectly normal and not made of bark friend is asking if you can teach us your magic. He looks at all of you. Depends on you. Hold on a second. Let me look at all of you for a second. Let's see if he sees anything. Also, I'm just still absolutely smacking the shit out <laughs> mm -hmm. of John. Yep. <laughs> Who doesn't really notice because like his skin is made of blood? Yeah, you don't notice it. Like it, you feel like hardly anything. Let's see here. With his awareness of minus one. <laughs> John and Forlorn. Perhaps. And looking at you, John, potential. He says, maybe, and that we have potential? Wait, wait whoa, 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 what are you doing, Ken? Wait, he said I had potential? <laughs> no one's ever said that before. <laughs> Oh, you've been doing that the whole time? Yeah, it's fucking rad! I didn't even notice. <laughs> As I'm, like, smacking Jesus you in the Christ. face. <laughs> uh, the bark will subside. I give him one good pop in the face oh. accidentally. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh! Oh! Sorry, didn't realize it was gonna fade. One of his branches will actually come down towards your your head and tap you on the head and the 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 pain goes away whoa so who here has potential wait i thought you said we all had oh you i can't understand you perhaps you. Oh, me? If want if that? good enough. I'm just a simple accountant. I don't, a humble accountant. I don't know anything about magic or anything. Don't have to teach choice he's asking me if i want to learn his magic is he asking all of us that says that i have potential oh should have known <laughs> Also, by the way, the, the mouth sounds I'm making is just uh -huh. clem. I know, I know. I know it's not <laughs> like, Faith doing it. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm aware. Or Lauren goes up to John. And says, you got. You have to learn how to do that. You have to learn how to do that. It would be pretty fucking sick. You could become like a circus man when we finally find town again. Think of the job prospects. Think of the power we can hold if we were to learn magic. Well, I mean, not us. Clearly, we're not talented enough, forlorn. I don't. I don't know, guys. This. I just count. I don't. Yeah, that's right. Club's gonna grab it when he goes. That's right. You count. <laughs> That's what I think. That's what this asshole tax collector thinks. And that's what this fucking tree thinks. God, we've been here for hours. How does your breath still smell of alcohol? <sighs> it's a talent. I sometimes soak my teeth in it. <laughs> I have dedication to the things I love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no quitter. And neither are you. Because I think being an accountant takes some kind of schooling, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so, you know, I think you should turn around and face the tree and dedicate yourself, man. For the good of the group and your self betterment, but mostly the group. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. I do count. More than you just count, coin. Right, Forlorn? You count. You, you, you count. count. You count. count. You count. <laughs> he, uh, John turns back. Uh, yeah, teach, teach me this magic. Um, 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 teach, me the, teach me the magic. Um, I start, I start trying to encourage Forlorn to do, like, a ritualistic chanting around the tree. Like, you count, you count, you count. We see if talent sprout. Which magic you interested? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're asking a lot of questions here. There's different kinds of magic? Mm. Uh, well, he doesn't have a hand to do this, but... Uh... <laughs> Spiritually. <laughs> Spiritual face palm. Help hurt. Are those the only options? I felt like there was more. You can suggest more if you want. Oh, sorry. Bless you. He's asking me if I should help or hurt. Uh, sorry. <laughs> You're warsed. Warsed. Harry, you're warsed. Come on, you can do it. I'm a cool character. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> no, this is a better character. Hagrid's a better character now. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. He's asking if you want to help or hurt. Well, all right. <clears throat> this is a serious question, John. Do you think you could kill someone? Have you killed someone? No, never. It's a great question. Actually. Cool, then we're gonna disregard the harm thing and go just to the help. Help, I'll help, I'll help. <laughs> I mean, it's a Clem, 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 Clem turns point. to Forlorn and goes, unfortunate, but we have to work with what we've got. <laughs> have, have you ever killed someone? Huh? Have you ever killed someone? No. 
<laughs> I'm, Is he I'm, gonna, I'm gonna choose to believe you. Smart, I don't man. think Smart. you're physically capable. Yeah, that's the key word. I wasn't capable. I don't think it's out of lack of trying. Just Jesus Christ. Uh, so, David, are you? Did you say help to him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He turned back around, saying, "Like help repeatedly." Think nature. Visualize help. What do you visualize, David? I think about watering a tree. But watering a tree? <laughs> I'm Amazing. helping the tree. That's helping the tree. It's helping the tree. <laughs> Give me Unless a of course he imagines watering it too much, in which case that does hurt the tree. As the watering... guy, as my favorite, favorite botanist who was arrested during the Spanish Inquisition <laughs> realized under house arrest, that he was asking the hard questions about plants and even the Spanish Inquisition couldn't stop him Water is necessary for plant growth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to that guy. Historical scientific heroes. <laughs> okay, you're thinking of watering about a tree. Watering, about watering his house plants back at home. Uh, Timothy, Gerald, and... And John. He named one after himself. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. John Jr. Jingleheimer Schmidt. Okay. Yep. Uh, David, go ahead and give me a. Uh, what check would this be? I think this would be charisma. Yeah, give me a charisma skill check, please. As John. Yep. Did you did you look at the right sheet? This is what you're asking to do. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Okay. You're you're focusing, um, but you're having a hard time. Like you you can you can imagine it, but the, getting the details and like the feeling that goes with it. You're just thinking honestly. You're a numbers person, and all you're thinking of is the minute details, and none of the none of that special oomph that comes yeah. with it. It's just very matter of fact. Well, yeah, this is what this thing is. It's like this, like this amount of centimeters, probably, and blah blah blah. Um, mm, Think too much. I'm I'm thinking too much. Okay. Um. Okay. Gotta dumb it down. Um. Come. What are you thinking about right now? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what are you thinking about right now? Um. I. Uh, this leaf's kind of spiky. <laughs> I was thinking about a spiky leaf. Spiky leaf? Okay, give me another charisma check. Wait, spiky <laughs> leaf? Actually, forlorn with it. <laughs> give me, actually, instead, give me a knowledge check. I thought I keep the same roll I rolled. Sure. 12. Sorry, not knowledge. It would be just int. 12. 12? Poke, poke, forlorn. Same problems happening. Ow, ow, please. Ow. Also, you're ow. getting distracted because you're getting poked. No, that's forlorn. I'm poking forlorn. I've oh, never distracted John. Gotcha. Stop. Perhaps other magic better. Think animal. Think animal. I started thinking about the wolves eating the 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 deer. Okay. That we saw. Make a strength or dexterity check. Your choice. Strength or dexterity check? Mm-hmm. They're both the same. Seven. Look at this guy. Having Seven. Similar. Your strength and dexterity scores. <laughs> you're trying to like those those things are like frightening you as you're trying to think of them, and you're having a very difficult time. So I was thinking about the that weird large elephant thing. Mm-hmm. 
magic difficult. You got this, John. Woo! And I'm gonna start doing like I'm gonna. Uh, Clem would like to attempt the worm. Make a performance check. Yeah, sure, absolutely. A <laughs> natural one. <laughs> you hurt yourself. <laughs> you go flat on your yeah. face. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna ship from here. No, as you're, we as you're... stay here. <laughs> We've been think... struggling. Did I think John would become a druid? That's up to you. <laughs> you said you wanted to do it. Yeah, you, well, you had an opportunity. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna ship from them. And we're gonna go to Nicholas. Mm. Nicholas, you're just going up the coast, aren't you? Right? Up the river, I should say. Following the river. Following the river north. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a perception check. Ooh, not good. Um, seven. Seven. Okay. Um, everyone else at the campsite where they're taking shelter make perception checks. You guys. We'll see. Unless everyone rolls like natural ones and shit. <laughs> Sharn did. Embryol <laughs> spoke into existence. Oh, Good. Boy. Embryol rolled a 14. Hey. Beatrice rolled a. Oh, she's got a minus one. <laughs> Love that for her. She rolled a nine. Jean Claude, uh, he did well enough. He got a 14. Uh, but Dante. Uh, got a negative one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> On wow. So, John claude Amber. and uh, who else got a 14, Beatrice? Ambriel. Ambriel. Uh, you two see a horse. Is there is a horse in the distance? Is there someone on the horse? Ambriel's looking for someone uh, riding the horse. You, you, do, the you horse. do look more closely and you see there's a figure. A really it. hot orc. Maybe half uh, orc. It tusks. looks like there is a person on the horse. Perhaps he is a, a. I cannot make it out from, quite from this distance, but perhaps he is friendly. Or perhaps he is trying to come and kill us. I don't know what the difference is at this moment. Well, I've got a stick and I scared off a wolf, so actually. So clearly Ariel... you can take on this man who is mounted on a horse. I agree, go. Emriel is going to walk forward, um, but briefly, he's going to watch the horse and the rider, and he's going to clasp his amulet, the amulet of his deity. And just, what impression does he get? Does a vibe oh, check. Yeah, um, he does a vibe check. I'm trying to think of specifics of... Oh, yours oh, works. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do we yes. roll vibe checks? So you get, um, uh, what's your current emotional state? Um, um, uh, it's been a weird day, but, uh, you know, Nick isn't necessarily someone who, he's, he's kind of a, he takes the punches as they come. He firmly believes that, like, as long as he, like, has himself, he can get out of anything as long as he, like, doesn't let it, like, get to him, mm -hmm. um, it, which is an attitude that served him well all his life. So he's kind of like, he has food, he has water, he has Odysseus, hasn't um, hurt himself too badly, um, managed to escape some serious encounters. Um, the otters were cool. Uh slightly worried that he has not seen any humans or like humanoids like people mm -hmm. you sense um, yeah you sense light fear and light happiness Abriel is going to uh walk forward hello it was about <clears throat> well, um, <clears throat> hello? Uh, 
Haven't seen someone like you out and about. Someone like me and your uh, companion? Odysseus? Yeah. You haven't seen horses? Not since I got here. So you also came from somewhere else? Mm hmm. And you did too? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what Nick rolled to remember. Nick, um, I don't think he remembered. Um, yeah, Odysseus like, was it's, there. It's all no. fuzzy. I used to. I, I used think, to no. work. Odysseus remembers, but Nick doesn't. That's oh the, yeah, yeah. yeah he's that. like, um, I used to work uh, with horses at like a fancy place, but uh, I don't remember how I got here. When I woke up, there was this large cat-like predator, but uh, we're able to scare it off and then took off here on an Odysseus and run into a couple other things, but eventually found this river. Found some bananas. What about you? Well, we found a wolf further up north. Wouldn't recommend running into one of those, but sounds... Maybe like you've run into some trouble yourself, but I think if we've all come from the same place, perhaps we can work something out. We, oui. there's more of you. Yeah, a couple of us. We <laughs> heads popping up. Recently, <laughs> just all ended up here. Uh, I was traveling with two other companions, and we came across some other people. Well, uh, can't Safety say I would, wouldn't mind some uh, speaking company. Not that Odysseus is that bad. Um, <laughs> I kind of pat him. Sure. I'd love to help. Are you not kidding him? Why would I kill him? He seems fine. I cannot hear this conversation you are having. I do not know the content of it. I am simply... It seems we just have lone right there on the wind. I, uh, I am Nick. Ambriel. You may call me Ambriel. Uh, this is Jean-Claude. Uh, Nick is going to like spur the horse and like uh, pull him up short in front of Jean-Claude. Our... Do not step on me. I'm still on the ground, like... <laughs> Odysseus is a very, very smooth ride. Good gait. Quick stop. And I'm a good rider. I would never step on you. Yes, well. Nick. Nicholas. Well, I can't say it's necessarily great circumstances, but good to have someone else here. Indeed. Strength in numbers. Some of our companions are looking for shelter, food. Well, uh, We've got the river for clean water. I do have the uh, bananas if anyone's starving right now, but I, I would rather save them. Which is the first food that you've seen? Uh, it was a little further back south, that way, down the river. Couldn't find more, but could be. I'm not as experienced with foraging. Well, we have a an experienced um, forager, a healer who knows things about plants. Perhaps she would be able to. Even more glad to join the group. Well, me and Odysseus are happy to be aboard. You look uh, bloodied up. What did you run into? Very, very large, angry thing that I think wanted to eat me. And you have. So how far me. away was that, you'd say? On a horseback? Maybe like. What would it be, I mean, maybe like an hour mm -hmm. or two? Uh, where you found Three. the banana? 
No, the giants that chased me. Or the, the trolls. Giants, the ogres. Let's see here. Probably be like a two hour. About two hours on horseback. Pretty, pretty fast clip. I was trying to get out of there. No weapons, so figured those weren't great odds. Yeah, well, got the stick, so. They're a little big for that. But I'm sure it works well on wolves. Perhaps we should all think about arming up. Your, uh, our companion with the... Knows a little bit of healing, so when she gets back, uh, she can take a look at your arm. Appreciate it. In the meantime, is there anything I can do to assist you? You said you work with horses. Uh, any other knowledge of foraging, making a shelter? Uh, one of us wanted to look into getting some fish. Decently strong, but with my shoulder messed up right now. But I can use Odysseus. Can pull things. More strength than five men, so seems pretty decent. I got some rope. We can rig up a harness if we need to move stuff. Apparently, Let's maybe out, move sir, your sir. friend, who I'm not sure it appears can walk. Uh... <laughs> I can walk, although it is not necessarily the best thing for me on a regular basis. I will be requiring some assistance in this way. Uh, I would say probably 60 to 70 percent of the time. We are um, uh, leaving Jean Claude on crafting duty. Um, anything that's more. I'm more of a leader than a doer. Yeah. yeah. Well, but I think I'm not the most book learned, but I do know that after you've got yourself shelter, which they're out looking for, water, which we have, and food, which I know at least the last place I saw some, you then want to think about storage. So maybe we should think about making some kind of carrion harness cases weaving anyone got any skills in that jean-luc jean-claude jean-claude sorry <laughs> my, I, uh, my, my serious sincerest apology i believe i contain the knowledge necessary to do some weaving however i do not know that i always have the dexterity for such a thing so if i could maybe guide someone else in this practice this would work i'm good with my hands and i'm not a stranger to hard work i think that right. you and i will get along just well nicholas <laughs> i'm sure we will jean-claude <laughs> all right i think we're gonna switch from them <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jean Luc. Where are the others? Where are the others doing? Who are near the the campsite? The war. Uh, I believe uh, Sharn and uh, Beatrice were uh, categorizing plants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Where's Dante? Sharn is Sharn is trying to build like a catalog, and she was also starting to do um, her like. Um, uh, testing the I, plants, so she was doing like put applying them periodically on her like arm to see what caused an allergic reaction or what mm -hmm. seemed fine. Okay. And I Beatrice imagine. was assisting with that, taking and then, notes and talking. Okay. And then what's I imagine, Dante? I would imagine that Dante would be maybe helping, looking for big pieces Beatrice. of wood to yeah or yeah. yeah whatever Beatrice is up to probably up helping her or maybe yeah maybe searching for. Wood? I don't know what I do with the wood though. So you're searching uh, for we're we're looking for um materials to get the lean to a little bit of a oh, shelter. Okay, yeah. Sort of a shelter. yeah. Sort of and then so, so Beatrice, maybe like a fallen log or something. So Beatrice, are you helping with that or are you helping uh uh No no Sharn? no 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 Beatrice is helping Sharn. Gotcha. Um but the other thing we were talking about was 
Maybe. Yeah, so I guess maybe I'm looking for like a cave or some stuff to like build a lean to or like anything. Okay, sure. Dante, why don't you give me a perception check first? With my minus three awareness modifier. Well, we we found the tree. We found a good tree. Oh, me? The last time you said that, I rolled a four. Yeah, I know. It's great. And then I took three damage, which is half of my life. (laughs) (laughs) You found a tree, you said before, Susanna? Yeah, yeah, we found a tree that would be good to build up against. Um, Beatrice found it. Um, right. A good, a good area to start building a shelter. So that's where we've been hanging out. That's where we moved Jean Claude. Mm-hmm. Um, but we just need more materials to build, like a lean-to, so we have right. a little bit of a shelter, and then some materials for the ground, so we're a little bit off the ground. Yeah. Um, so perception for just looking for materials. Uh, 11. 11? Okay, yeah. I mean, it takes you a little while, but you find basic necessities. It's not going to make a grand we'll leap. Necessities? <laughs> Yo, the bare necessities. The bare necessities. The copyright necessities. Uh, oh, yeah, you it find it. About the monetary fees. <laughs> 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 That's fair use right there. That's solid oh, yeah. That's solid uh, uh, parody. Parody, right? yeah. Cool. You both did solid parody. Um, yeah, you find it's not going to be anything grand. Um, mm. um, but yeah, you find the, the, the basics uh, for it. Okay. For the others, um, Faith, did you already collect the herbs and now you're just experimenting on them? Yeah. Okay. yeah make, just make a, make a nature check with bolster one since uh, you said Beatrice is helping you. Oh, poor Sharn, just absolutely rolling horribly. But it's a twelve. It's a twelve. Okay, it's it's average. You're having a hard time figuring out what everything does. Um, I mean, you're you're learning things. Uh, you just haven't found anything that stands out uh, quite yeah. yet. So it, it it'll it'll take some more experimentation. You just don't know everything to test for these things. Um, but if you work at it, you'll. You should figure out. Um, yeah. Can more. I um, kind of returning back uh, or uh, looking around? I've been mostly focusing on the like medicinal edible qualities of most of these. Yep. Um, can I look and see what I think would be uh, good building materials or like tool making? Uh, sure, you can give me a perception check. One of uh, uh, Gnome's specialized skill is engineering, so I'm actually hoping to use that. To use that for searching for them? Uh, I, I would say if you were using them, I'd give you it. Um, then can I just make a, another nature check? But yeah, with you can different... make a nature. That's fine. Okay. There! Finally! Fucking finally! 22! Okay, so what kind of what kind of uh, tool making stuff are you looking for? Uh, so uh, building materials, so like woods that are gonna be like um, flexible or that like mm-hmm. we could use fire to harden or alter into a shape that we needed. Um, things that twine, twine, any, any plants that would be good to um, yeah okay. to maybe like or weave, you, dry you do find leaf. a you do find a plant. Uh, finally, you find something that you could use for twine the the it's 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 weird like it's leaves feel like they, they look and act like twine all right kind of um, like kind of um, like all stitched together in a weird way then uh let's uh oh um beatrice uh yes what what have you found char i believe that uh Oh, that is a very interesting plant. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. I believe we'll be able to use it for twine. Oh, Weaving, that would be good. Which is very important. Uh, uh, for uh, carrying things or perhaps uh, fishing. Um, many Making traps or something for uh, little bunny rabbits or other tasty <laughs> little, I don't know, morsels that yes. go skittering around Oh here. my god, we're playing Don't Starve. 
Hey, yeah. hey, hey, David, guess guess what uh, game we were all playing when I thought of the idea for this campaign? Oh my god. I, <laughs> Don't didn't start you together. you realize with the berry bushes? <laughs> Come on, guys! Are we gonna have, like, a, a killer pigmen or, like, some turkeys we can kill or something? Anyway, um, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna direct go Beatrice and go ahead and try and harvest as much of this right. as I possibly can. Okay, yeah. Um, give me one second. Let me check something. Well, I wonder if, yeah. um... I could uh, maybe perhaps uh, weave some of this into a fabric or a cloth, um, uh, perhaps for bandages or something, um, because we are going to run out of clothing at some point. And, uh, with how much danger is in this place, I would like to have a source of something. No, it's, uh, it's a good thought. Um... I will. I will experiment with it. I've I've done some weaving with other things. A uh, bit, a little bit of embroidery. Uh, all all sorts of little, you know. Uh, there's a patch. The important, the important quality is that it can be boiled. Oh. So if it falls apart in water, that's slightly what my concern yes, that is. would be not so good. I understand. Oh, there's a small Especially patch then. of about like ten here. Okay, I'll put twine leaves ten. Mm -hmm. Down in my inventory. well, they've got like a couple like leaves on each. Yeah, I, I'm I'm like twine. Gotcha, leaves. gotcha. Do you think I know that you know much more about uh, botany than I do? But um, perhaps this is thinking a little too long term. But um, do you think perhaps we should uh, only take part of it, and so the plant can grow back, and we know where it is? Or do you think so? Yeah, that's what I was. I was more? just gonna say is that she's not gonna like fully just take everything. Mm -hmm. She's taking strategically what she knows the plant can recover with, and then like just enough. So okay, yeah, you can do that. Absolutely. Oh, uh, perhaps we should also um, maybe start. Uh, why do I do this in both campaigns? Um, perhaps we should start making a, a bit of a, an outline, a, a map, a, a general idea of where our resources are so that we um, can communicate with others more easily. Um, perhaps so if we can tell, I don't know. Embriel doesn't know what the plant probably looks like, but I'm, I'm sure that if we told him to go get the twine plant and gave him a map, he could probably figure that out. Uh, Perhaps and if we find that, anyone else, yeah, perhaps that's a job for you. Ah. I don't have any skill in map making, but uh, my one concern is we don't want to waste any paper. That's going to be a difficult one to figure out. Uh, perhaps carving. Uh, maybe you want to look for some clay. Uh, that would be good, or or um, dark. If I could, uh, perhaps... Bark, though, again, we're going to have the water problem. Clay will preserve at the very least. It's heavy, yeah, but it's if you made a simple enough... Tablet? Mm -hmm. And perhaps... I, I will I will think of some way to perhaps uh, uh, draw it on a smaller scale or come up with some sort of simplified um, uh, diagrams or some such thing so that we could... Um, Make it more simplistic. Yes. Uh, Until we get uh, leather and maybe some wax, I don't think uh, we're going to be struggling against the elements and pres preservation-wise. I Yes, I do realize that I was probably getting a little ahead of myself. It is probably better for us to have shelter. and No, dearie, it's a good idea. I just... I don't want all the hard work to no, go. No, but I waste. appreciate your your practical uh, nature. It's, uh, it's good to have a balance. Uh, do you think perhaps we should continue looking or go back and check on the others? Well, we're not too far. I imagine we'd hear if there were screams. Uh, I usually um, make procession checks, by the way. Another nine. Uh, Dante, what do you roll? Well, so Dante's making it. Yeah. You, when you said you three, did you? I thought you meant Nick, Jean Claude, and um. No. 
Okay. Because we're cool. still on Beatrice and uh, okay. Charm. Uh, well, then if it's for uh, Dante, then it's the, a two. The highest was a nine? Yep. Mine was technically a negative one. Just kill us all. It'll be good. Because then we'll say okay. we only have two characters. Oh, all right, you don't notice it'll, anything. It'll work. You don't notice anything. I think I would notice if my heart stopped beating, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, but perhaps I should go back and check on Jean-Claude. And we could drop off the uh, twine. Since he's working on crafting at the moment. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel better checking on anyone. Just more frequently. Well, we don't know what's out here. Yes. Uh, Dante. Yes. We're going to head back. How are you having any luck? I think I found some things that maybe we could use. I have here just a huge fucking log that he's got hefted over his shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, and like a couple of bushes that he's just like ripped out of the ground. <laughs> I think we could work with that. Uh, I have some experience in building rudimentary shelters during long foraging missions. So be happy to work with you on it a bit. I, I think would... I've had all I, I've, I've done all I can here experimentation wise and unfortunately um botany in these conditions is a uh, game of patience i would hate to use it for the whole task but i do i always keep my cleaver strapped to my hip so if we need to cut things i have something for that i prefer to that use is... it on animals but you know that when something needs to be done it needs to be done i Perhaps we could also use fire. I know that in some places, especially in the north, uh, the north, the north, the north. Uh, they uh, use fire to shape their uh, building materials occasionally. It seems like you would. He, he picks up specifically the like one of the bushes he's holding. <laughs> seems like you would burn it away, don't you think? Not if you're careful. Maybe not on the bush. More on the log. I see. Well, I assume you know better than me. I wouldn't. We all have our skills. Right, and this is. These are plants, and so I know. I assume you know more about plants than I do. And I will, unless it is a matter of healing, I will tend to defer to your culinary expertise. Thank you. I'll start heading back. Okay. Yeah, we all start heading back. So as you're all starting to head back, we're going to actually go to the tree area. Um, for the magic tree. Um, <laughs> oh! John Doe's Druid Awakening. Uh, um, Clem, uh, give me a, as you're trying to be inspiring to, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, you rolled what? You hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, give me a, give me a, give me a persuasion or performance check. They're the same roll. Four. Four. Okay. Cool. Not inspiring at all. <laughs> I, uh, but you know what? You know what? I want Clem to try to be one with nature in this moment. You want Clem to be one with nature in this moment? Yeah. Okay. I what's think he, Clem's just gonna. What's he thinking about? Thinking about <laughs> the tree <laughs> and and John, and he's trying to like and the bark. And the connection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me, give me a charisma check with disadvantage. Yeah, absolutely. Double 20s. You right? Uh, a charisma check? Uh, -huh. uh, 12. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, so you're working on that. You feel it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I Clem, uh, Clem's feeling it in his body. Feeling it in his soul. Uh, John, what are you? What are you currently doing? Uh, he is still trying to think on nature. Um, 
probably thinking more on, uh, about animals, squirrels, that giant long neck thing he saw. Mm-hmm. Um, but then uh, Borlorn kind of interrupts it. Then says, "What is what is he having you concentrate on?" Well, I'm nature and stuff and plants and things. And I'm trying to like think of like helpful things for nature instead of like hurtful things. Okay, okay, good, good, good. You do that. Let you. I'll let you concentrate. And forlorn is going to concentrate on harmful things. Harmful things. Okay. Yeah. So, what is he thinking about specifically? He's never experienced one or seen one. But he's thinking mm-hmm. about wildfires. Wildfires? Yeah. Forlorn's a shady bench. Okay, give me a hinder one uh, check, because you've never seen one. Hinder one uh, intelligence check. Hinder one intelligence. Mm -hmm. That's a 17. 17? You're thinking of wildfires? Yeah. Okay, let me double check something. Just to clarify for myself. Okay. Uh, okay. So the bush um, that you you grabbed, uh, Clem, suddenly uh, ignites. Yeah! Oh shit! I start waving it, forgetting that I can drop it. <laughs> ah, and I start running in circles around the tree. Ah! Get it away. Oh, Very whoa, 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 whoa. dangerous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clem, Clem, Clem. Fire. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Whoa. Ah! Did you do that? I mean. Did I? <laughs> I, I turn towards another bush and I go, fire! <laughs> it does not. <laughs> Forlorn is going to think about lightning. Lightning? And and that bush. And that bush? Yeah, give me another knowledge check. Oh. <laughs> uh, 23. 23? Oh, shit. Okay. Y'all yeah, thought it was John. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah. So as you're holding it out, Clem, all of a sudden lightning strikes right into it. I mean, I'm a little confused, but I got the spirit. (laughs) Holy shit. You sure do. This one already knows. Magic. Yeah, I didn't think Clem would catch on to it so fast. I not teach not my magic. (laughs) That, what do you mean? Not my magic. Wait, so we can just summon magic? Just... Mm. This one seems magic inherently. Clem? No. 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 <laughs> no. Point that Clem? <laughs> Meanwhile, is like dancing around the lightning struck bush with his flaming um, branch. No, other more serious one. Forlorn. That was you? I. What? I think it was just no, a I coincidence. Thought it was me. I think that's more just a coincidence, John. What coincidence? Lightning striking? 
it's a little far fetched. Right? Okay, yeah. I appreciate me. I am confident and secure in my own being, but I'll admit, I'm a little bit of a screw up. So I did find it slightly <laughs> suspicious when everything started going my way. That's usually when the tides are about to turn. Forlorn, is there anything you would like to share? As I appoint his flaming branch at him. Put it down. He's going to think about putting out the fire. Okay, give me another knowledge check. I drop it. <laughs> Good call. Uh, 20 total. 20 total? <laughs> the dice know how to tell a story. Right? Let me, let me double check something. The dice got you back. <laughs> You're trying to snuff it out, David? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Do, 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 do. A shady birch. <laughs> Let me see here. Oh. Yeah, this, um... This very cold, like, fast-moving mist uh, is the best way I can describe it. Shoots out of his hand and douses the flame. J'accuse! <laughs> Je witch! I... 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 Didn't know I can do this. Well, clearly, why the fuck would you become a tax collector when you could do that? <laughs> Unless you just enjoyed making other people hate you. Which, you know, maybe. No. I was just doing my job, Clem. Yeah, now you can be a productive member of society. Congratulations, Forlorn! Are you saying I wasn't being productive in all my time working in my, in the city? What did you particularly produce, Forlorn? The taxes help pay for the roads and- Yeah, but did you produce them? If I didn't go pick them up, who would? You think the Someone town else? people- Someone else? Me? You think the Not towns... that I would ever sell out my fellow man. You think the townspeople would... Of course not. I would never. There you go. Someone had to pick up the, the coin to... Yeah, but I don't know if that's the same as being productive. You didn't make a road or, like, earn the money. <laughs> well, someone had to do the job, and... I... That just so happened to be me. Right. Well, now you got something special and cool, I guess. So, like, forget all that. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I... It's all very overwhelming. I mean, yeah. And I'm not the one who's shooting wind out of my hands. I can do it out of my mouth. I wonder what else I can do. I mean, shit. Maybe we could have taken on those wolves. <laughs> he's gonna try to he's gonna imagine like summoning an apple into his hand uh he cannot hmm. a canteen of water clean water mm-hmm -mm. Hmm. Oh, there's limits. Unfortunately. Tell the... Tell the tree thank you, but I think we're done here. 
and we burn the tree down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you? Are you? I mean, murder the tree. I feel like I could have gotten it eventually. You magically exhausted. Not possible for daylight. I was just trying to look on the bright side. You don't have to bring me down like that. Um, okay, well, you don't know where other people might be, right? People like you us. Yes. Never seen. That is very disheartening. Um, you've been a lot of help. Uh, my name's John Forlorn Clem. Uh, I didn't catch your name. I. Um, Bruce. That was the end of the sentence. <laughs> you just stops moving. No, he, he said, "I am." You, you are. I am. You are. You just are. And your repetition. Is your name Am? Call what you like. Call me what you want. Call me what need. Call me in the morning. I'll be a tree. <laughs> 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 so, the tree doesn't really have a name, but I did say thank you. Um, told that we're leaving. Uh, Clem's gonna go give the tree a hug. Thank you, Mr. Tree, for giving Forlorn lightning powers, or maybe unlocking Forlorn's lightning powers. Anyway, it's pretty cool experience. Ten out of ten. Would visit tree again. <laughs> This one talking bad music better. He says that he really enjoyed your music. Um, <gasps> really? Because <laughs> I have these mixtapes. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got like he burns of tape that he mixes together. <laughs> yeah. They turn into bark. <laughs> they turn into bark? That you don't actually have them. No, they don't turn into bark. <laughs> you don't have mixtapes <laughs> on you. <laughs> but what if his mixtapes were fire and then they let him fire? He has magic on this thing I don't have. <laughs> uh, thank you, old wise tree. Maybe we'll return someday. Well, come. You you called your you said your name before. Yes. John. Cena. <laughs> no, not in my campaign. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John I'm taking, Cedar. I'm taking notes for fantasy. Oh my week. god, David. <laughs> what? Don't make me penalize you. <laughs> David, don't make me reward you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, then you all head out. Wait, wait, before we go, what is the name of this place? It is if there's no name to this place, is there? All right, thank you again.
and, and we leave. Okay, so as, uh, oh, which direction are you going? South. We were heading south, right? South? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Go Keep back to where you south. came. To the swamp! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, as you head uh, south after Forlorn realizing his innate powers, um, we are going to end there. Uh, David, uh, you may set Forlorn as the sorcerer with the subclass Fiend Lineage. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm gonna get the warlock? No, not a warlock. Oh. It was very possible he could have gone more like. <laughs> I thought he would. I just heard fe I just heard fiend lineage. I ah, the sorcerer has a bunch of different lineages for the subclasses. Okay. So you are the first one of the class, David. Yeah, yeah. did not think that would happen so fast. David, I mean, good it's, job. we're like we're like six sessions in. <laughs> we're th yeah. Yeah, like session. Oh yeah, this is six actually. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say five. Because we do two sessions mm -hmm. we need. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> God. If people want like a physical class, are they just gonna have to like lift weights until they're cool? There there are some people who have done something I have notes on every single one of your characters and I've made notes of things. Uh so there are some people who are more in that direction based off things they've done or tried to do. <laughs> Jean-Claude never gets a class because he just sits around on his ass all day. I mean... <laughs> his class is influencer. Yeah. His no. class is the wealthy. No one wants to be influenced by him. His class, 1%. His, his class, the creature. The, his hit points go up to 12. Make a class called the creature. Yeah. That'd be cool. They do, David. Your hit points go up to 12. And I get two skills. You get a bunch of stuff. You get, you get two skills. You get, uh, you, get you get yeah. <laughs> He's at twelve now. Um, yeah, you get your feature. You have uh, yeah skills you're proficient in. You got oh your proficiency bonus is plus two. You get a subclass. You get a talent, and then you get uh, a bunch of spells. Guys, get on my level. <laughs> Level one specifically. We wish we want to. The first level. I'd love to. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know More that we could anything. like breathe intentionality into our class. I was told that we didn't get to decide what our class was. I said anyone can try anything that they want. I said, and I said fair. it might work or it might not. Okay, fair. It was. It just was not working for John. I was like, well, yeah. poor Lauren would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Lord wants power. Yeah. I thought he would the go like I thought he would. I thought he the... would. Yeah, I thought he would go warlock. But I, it's not like I did think about like ask asking the tree for power, but like mm -hmm. the language barrier was just too much, and I'm like I, asking for Lauren asking John to ask the tree for mm -hmm. was just too much. Yeah. No, you made a choice, yeah, and it was, it was cool. <laughs> Can you hand the tree this note? Does he want to be my patron? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> he was the one to originally say, like, say, like, teach us magic. Yeah. Yeah, he was the one who wanted it. Oh, John, so many bad roles, buddy. So many yeah. bad Clem's roles. Clem's just along for the ride. I honestly, Clem doesn't have any skills. I mean, there was nothing that, tr that tree could teach Clem. Clem and Claude, <laughs> the classless wonders. <laughs> We went from the B team to the A team all in right? one Right? Yeah, honestly, you, you you all have gotten some real bad scrapes. <laughs> like the troll. We started at the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> Are we ending the episode? Is this, is this oh, the post shit. episode show? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us, everyone. Does anyone have a good, uh, <laughs> I forgot, uh, sign uh, up? And may all your sorcerers be innately powerful may all <laughs> ooh. may all your may dreams, all of your classes may all be your forewarned. parodies remain uncopyrighted <laughs> stay normal my friends yes all right thank you everyone <laughs>